doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. I have given you everything you said you wanted. I want you out. Now! I think you might have just saved the country. I made a mistake when I was young, a really stupid mistake, and I've regretted it every day of my life. And then I met you, and I... I thought you could fix me. What does she want? She wants Elka to be a part of her life. Elka. Dad said you were my real mum. Is that true? I'm sorry you found out this way. It's not what I wanted. What about my real dad? What was he like? He was young. I just wanted to know. Know what? Why did you give me away? Oh, sweetheart. It's complicated. Why? Well, I wasn't much older than Claire when I had you. Can you imagine Claire being a mum? She'd be all right. Well, Claire's a lot smarter than I was. And I had problems. What problems? Problems that meant I couldn't look after a baby. I wasn't a good girl like you. I, I was wild. I drank and I took drugs. And my parents couldn't control me. So did they decide I should be adopted? They did. But I agreed it was for the best at the time. I would never give my baby away, no matter what anyone said. And if I could do it again, neither would I. Where is she? So, so sorry. No, no, don't be. It's okay. I think we'll right her. How about some hot chocolate? Yeah, good idea. Sweetheart, I just need to talk to Rosa for one minute, okay? It was a close adoption. You shouldn't be anywhere near her. I'm sorry, I just... What, this whole thing? Lunch, those fucking handbags. What, it was some sort of trap? No, it wasn't. You don't understand. Damn right, I don't. A child's mother would never put her in this position. Can't you see the damage you could do? Where is she? I'm just about to take her home. What did you say to her? Just that I missed her. Jesus, Rosa, what are you trying to do to us? Well, she came to me. What was I supposed to do? You were supposed to stay out of her life forever. That was the deal. Karen. No, off, Simon. You weren't fit to be a mother then. You're certainly not fit to be one now. You back off. She's right, I'm not fit to be a mother. If you're looking for sympathy, you won't get any from me. Imagine this from Elka's point of view. Oh, the last thing I want to do is hurt her. What did you think would happen? Please tell me you at least told David. And? David is behind me 100%.
Oh, did I miss it? Hey, you sold me out. Yeah, well, um, you were using me. That's hypocritical. <sighs> Rosa, I've been trying to connect with you, but you just fob me off every time. It hurts, you know? I'm sorry. Have you got anything for me? Oh my god, Rosa, I had no idea. Yeah, no one did. And her adopted dad, he's the doctor that's been in the headlines for murder. Holy shit. Did he do it? Of course not. Easy, babe, it's primo. He's a good dad, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean... Who gives away their baby and then barges on their life years later and ruins it? Or is that? I've let David down. I've let Alka down. I've let you down. I'm such a waste of space. Hey, Rosa, stop, stop. Sorry, who? Keep her cool and keep talking to her. I'll take care of you, babe, I promise. Just, just hang in there, okay? Okay? Listen to me, just... Hey, it's me. I need a favour. I said not a word. Can't do it on my own. Lock the door behind us. What happened? She overdosed. Cocaine and what? I, I don't know, but, but these are in her pocket. Simon, I can't get involved in this. Come on, Paula, please. I need your help. You know me better than that. You didn't know what else to do. We need cooled Ivy saline on Dancitron and draw up for the res just in case. Okay. What about the family? Uh, he's not too popular with the wife at the moment. But he seems close to the brother. Hmm. Seems close, although Pat Greville at the boss still he went to reckons the brother never visited him once. The wife. It wouldn't be the first woman to wreak havoc on a cheating husband. What, she outs him as the murder suspect? The whole neighbourhood, the whole country talking about her? No, she's not the type. And she wouldn't do it to her kids. What if she is the killer? Karen. Come on. The book club. She's got multiple witnesses. Yeah, revenge for his affairs would definitely include attacking one of his girlfriends. And diverting suspicion by leaking his name. Let's have a look at the wife. Why now? What do you mean? I mean, why is crazy rich bitch Hallright decided to f with us now? You and Dad are in a shit fight? Yeah. <laughs> well... She's in 13 years. She's not a bitch. No, of course she's not. But she is Elka's birth mum. We just have to deal with that. What's going to happen? I don't know, sweetie. But we'll work it out together, OK? You don't need to worry about it. Will I go and live there? No. No, of course not. This is your home. Forever and ever. Absolutely. Oh my god. Oh my god, where am I? Hey, you need to calm down, okay? <gasps> Get away from me! You overdosed. Nobody else knows. As in nobody. We need to keep it that way. You can take her home soon, but check outside first. I mean, he's crawling all over me. You 
bodyguard talked to your husband. He thinks you've got a tummy bug. Thank you. Obviously, I'm grateful, but if you think you can use this against me, don't. take Claire to a movie today, if that's OK with you. Yeah, great idea. What are you going to see? Some fluffy rom-com, apparently. Yeah, I know. Well, if it makes you feel better, I'm happy to take one for the team. Hey, how's Elka? How yeah, would you be if Rosa Hallwright turned out to be your mother? Well, there are worse people. Are there? Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, don't worry about it. I turn out okay. For a 44 year old single male living next to his sister in law's laundry. All right, you're fine. You know, honestly, I always thought Simon was the star, and here you are. Big blonde rock. Hey. Look, it is yours. We going? We certainly are. Let a mum have fun. deserve to be a part of Elka's life. I know, but we have to be careful. We're not. If there's a challenge for Elka, we can use it then. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I just didn't know how to... I don't want any more apologies, Simon. cheated on me to when you got caught or when we met meeting you was the best thing that ever happened to me funny way of showing it did you ever even love me oh Karen of course you're beautiful smart you're an incredible mother that's the CV side. I'm talking about love if you loved me. The things that happened to me. The things I've, I've never told you.
Look at our girls, Karen. They're two beautiful girls, and I can't imagine how anyone. It's no love. No one showed me how it was done. I thought I had with you and the girls. That's what I always wanted. Then why ruin it? Because something's missing in me. What? I don't even know. You guys all good? Better than it was an hour ago. Don't tell me the band's getting back together. No, no, I'm just trying to sort out a few things with the girls. Why don't we have dinner tomorrow, all of us? What do you say? Yeah, I suppose that could work. As my favourite Prime Minister in waiting. Oh, never mind me, how are you? Yeah, I feel better than I have in a long time. Really? I was worried. Oh, darling, you've got the whole country to worry about. And the bit of it I'm in today is proving somewhat less than friendly. In what way? Uh, Meltdown used to be anyway. Then someone decided we were too proud to accept Chinese investment. So now half the town's gone and the rest are on the dole. Go figure. I'm sorry. I miss you. Got to go. I'll call you soon. Nico. Thanks, Paul. Simon Lambton. Uh, Simon, my name is Adi Cole. I would very much like to meet with you as soon as you can manage it. Sorry, who is this? Adi Cole. I'm, I'm a journalist and I have something that I think you need to see. It's about Rosa Hallwright and, and your daughter. Hello? Uh, Simon? I can come right now. know why. Sure, um, come on. Sorry about the cold calls. I just needed to get your attention quiet. Just tell me what this is about. <sighs> that didn't happen. I was there. You were spying on me. I don't have to spy on you, Dr. Rhymes with Hampton. You're everywhere. No. I'm after the Hallwrights. The Hallwrights and all their skeletons. This is not what you think. Rosa and I know. Then perhaps you would care to explain two very different families, all but strangers until recently. You're wasting your time. Oh, I've wasted a fair bit of it lately looking up Mrs. Hallwright, her wild youth. Made me think that maybe you could fill in some of the blanks. You're right. My family has just met the Hallwrights. They're on another stratosphere to us. There's nothing else going on. Okay. And you can try explaining that when these pictures go viral. Please, you can't. Why? Hmm. I looked up the public records. 
There is nothing that shows your wife giving birth to Alka. My daughter is 13. 13. Her life at the moment is pretty shitty, so I'm asking you. I am begging you, please do not do this to her. She really is Rose's daughter. <sighs> Once again, the whole rights hoodwink, the whole country. I, I, I'm sorry, mate, but uh, the, the people need to know. If you think you can threaten my child, my family, you're wrong. You'll be hearing from my lawyer in the hour. And I hope you have a shitload of money for one of your own. You think you can bully me, huh? David Hall, I tried. And look, still fighting, you hear me? Look, I know people hate. One call, and you're fucked up! Ah! Oh. Oh. Shit, you right? Are you okay with Simon dropping by in the middle of the night like that? Wasn't so bad. Really? I just keep thinking about him in that home. What it must have done to him. Can you imagine Cleo or Alka in a place like that? Worked out okay though, didn't it? Not exactly. I went to uni. Got the wife, the kids, the dream home. I mean, it was looking pretty good until not so long ago. You can't hide all that childhood stuff for. It's got to come out somewhere. Maybe that's why. Uh... I cheated. Look, he's starting to open up and talk about how he feels. And you believe him? You think I shouldn't? He... He's my brother, Karen, and I love him. But he's up. You need to look after yourself and the kids. No, just be careful, that's all I'm saying. Mum, it's the police. They want to talk to you. Karen Lampton speaking. Did you suspect him of having an affair with Julia Stevens? She is in his type. Was in his type. So you know what type he's attracted to. It must hurt. Of course it does. It make you angry about him, the many types of women he's been involved with. This isn't the first time this has happened, right? So we both know he's cheated on me more than once. Can we move on? Why am I here? You said that you were at book club the night Julia Stevens was killed, right? And that you walked home afterwards. That would have taken you past Julia Stevens' house not long before she was murdered. Me and ten other women. Still. You think I did it? Did you? <laughs> no. Did you attack Miliana Costas? I don't even know who she is or where she lives. If you have anything more to ask me about these terrible attacks or the ridiculous notion that I would publicise my family's troubles on that stupid blog, I want a lawyer present. Well, am I free to go?
Yeah. What's wrong? Why would anything be wrong? Um, it's your wife kicked you out and the cops are all over you. Where are you anyway? I'm at the hotel. I'm fine. Okay, I know you're better than that. I'm going to come over. No, I told you. I'm fine. Hey. Everything all right? Yeah, I just, uh, I just got a new job, so... Pizza, yeah. Kids are good too. What about you? What do the cops want? Ugh. The things they were saying. I think they're getting desperate. And just the pressure they put you under. No wonder Simon's being unbearable. Uniforms just called in a dead journo at the bottom of some stairs in Mount Eden. Nosy neighbour said he'd just had a very interesting visitor. Don't you dare say I told you so. You've got to be kidding me. I didn't do anything, I swear. He fell. Are you sure he's dead? So what are you going to do? Everything that ties me to him, what happened, is here. Then let me get rid of this way. No. Yeah, yeah, if the cops find the evidence, you know, forensic or whatever, and they connect this to you with all the other stuff hanging over you, then you're No. You know, the cops hauled Karen in today. What? Fuck. Maybe you should get in there first. Front up. Tell your side of the story. The cops are really going to believe me. Elka will end up front page news. Hello, Simon Lambton. Hello? Who is this? Mediana. Mediana, is that you? Hello? But if you're ditching that stuff, don't. I want it back. I'm dealing with this my way. Open up, Dr. Lambton, police. If you don't open the door, then we're coming in. I'm not saying anything without my lawyer. Why? Nothing to hide, have you? Are you sure you've never met Artie Cole before today? No, never. And he just just called you up out of the blue? Yes. Told me to come and see him. So why did you? Well, he pestered me into it. We talked, nothing came of it. When I left, he was very much alive. Are you sure about that? Why would I lie? I asked Pat from Northland Boys Home if she thought you were a liar. What did you say to her? That you're a person of interest in relation to one murder, another suspected murder, and now... I didn't need to talk to her or my wife. I need to find whoever killed Julia Stevens. I need to find out what happened to Mediana Costas, and I need to know how Artie Cole died. He's got an axe to grind with the Horrites. He wants dirt on her. Why would Artie Cole think he could leverage you into getting damaging information out of Horite? Look, I told him I couldn't help him, and I left. End of story. Me. What now? Cole sent me more photos of Mrs. Horite. 
compromising situation with a man who's not her husband. Send me the photos and close it down. I can't keep spiking this shit, it's too good. Close it down. Your wife? Is that Simon? Yes. When were they taken? The night before last. She's a time bomb that just keeps on ticking. Yeah, that's right, Sergeant. He just, just threw his laptop and stuff into the bin. Yeah, yeah I was going to call you earlier, but um, I was driving, so... Oh, he's tall. Uh, sort of dark head. Yeah, driving a Lexus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, OK. You're welcome. Thanks. I have to admit, this goes way beyond coincidence now. As I told you... Think I... about all the people involved. Stevens, Costas, Cole. Look, I know you cared about me, Diana. I know you care about your family. Do the right thing and stop lying. I'm not lying. Whatever you're hiding, I'll find out about it eventually. You can save us both a lot of pain and torture. Doesn't that violate the doctor-patient relationship? Something's really out of whack here. Where does this fit in? It's his kid. Oh, Jesus. Why wasn't I told about this? She almost died. Sir. Oh, this just gets better and better. You're not going to believe this. Simon Lampton is at the police station, answering questions about the death of Artie Cole. Cole's dead? Shit. Would you give us a moment? Yeah. At one point in front in the polls, but if Lampton breathes a word about Rosa, it will destroy you. Is he really in a position to say anything? Of course he isn't. In fact, right now, he needs us more than we need him. You can help him. Right. To what do I owe this pleasure? I've been thinking a lot lately about what you said last time we spoke. About policing numbers? Among other things. Have you seen the latest poll results by any chance? You have every reason to feel confident, I'm sure. And so do you. That's why I'm calling. Yeah, come on, close the door. Yes, sir. Yes, I've met Rosa Hall a few times. Without her husband. And with him? Why do you ask? Because I think I know why Addy Cole thought he could blackmail you. He couldn't. Well, you would say that, wouldn't you? It's not what you think. Then what is it? I want my lawyer. Simon, has it ever occurred to you that I can help you? Can I have a word? One minute, sir. Now. We have an eyewitness that places him at the scene. Look, he's lying. I just, I just need time to prove it. You've already spent enough time on him. Let's cast the net a little wider, eh? But you've done a good job, Marie. It's noted. The evidence just isn't there. Sir, you can't hold him. Sir, if Simon Lampton walks away, then I have not done a good job. Well, we're no longer going down that road. So you're just going to have to step back for the moment. With respect, sir, I think we need to take this to DC Evans. Already have. It's spoken to her. Yeah. I don't get it. You don't have to get it. And neither do I, for that matter. 
There's a long game being played here. By Jane? Just shut it down. You're free to go. Sorry? I said you're free to go. Piss off. You do get around, Dr. Lambton. Just as well you have someone looking out for you. You? David Allwright. Get in. I'll give you a ride. David wants you at his house. Now. And we need Karen. What's up? Sorry, uh, I missed your call earlier. Hey, Claire. So I had an interesting day at the police station. In fact, I'm starting to see why they get under your skin. Can I have a quick word? what she's just put you through. Why? Must be a bad outcome. Well, we can bring out the drugs, right? We can use that against her. Everything okay? Yes. Can you just keep an eye on the girls? Now? Yeah. Sure. Okay, well, can we... Let's get this over with. I'll see you there. We want to publicly announce that Rosa is Elka's birth mother. Oh, no, that's just never going to happen, ever. You overdosed. You can't even look after yourself, let alone a child. Simon, we're going. I helped you. As I just helped you. Simon. Sit back down, Karen. I suggest you take some time to consider what's really best for everyone here. Actually, the only thing I need to consider is what's best for my daughter. Over my dear body, will you turn her into an election issue? Simon. So have you told your wife about poor Adi Kuhn? What are you talking about? Their photos. I did not do anything, but it looks like I did, and... The journalist who took them is now dead. Photos of what? Of Rosa. Of me. And of Elk. You bastard. The photos don't really matter, Karen. What matters is that Simon was the last person to see the man who took them alive. Well, and the fact that they were taken while your wife was trying to kill herself with cocaine? It's of no concern to you? We're keen to move on with the next chapter of our lives, and Alka's very much part she of it. She doesn't want a drug addict for a mother. She doesn't want a prison inmate for a father. And I'm sure Alka will understand it was the pain of being separated from her that drove me to it. The whole nation will understand if need be. Oh, you people are this. You don't think. Do you have any idea what it takes to be a mother? Thank you, Karen. I'm about to find out. You're a monster.
Hey, hey. I'm sorry, Simon, but Karen doesn't want you here anymore. What the? Hey, 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 calm down, calm down. Where the f is Cole's computer? I put it in a skip way out west. Just covering your tracks, bro. Really? Yeah. How did the cops get them? Cops? I know, maybe someone saw They them. saw the photos. The only reason I'm here is because Hallwright pulled some strings. Oh, well, lucky you, eh? Story of a lifetime. I'm really sorry I wasn't better at covering your ass. Just wouldn't want to be in your shoes, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Well, you seem pretty comfortable in mine, living in my house with my wife and my daughters. Karen doesn't want to be your wife. And you're on pretty thin ice with your daughters. I mean, it looks like I'm the only LA you got. What the f are you doing? 